Smith College is home to a number of exceptional collections that provide students and scholars the opportunity to study rare art and archival materials. But one of the college's most exciting collections is one of its least known. Perhaps one of the most hidden treasures on campus is the a collection of historic dress, which is a really extraordinary document of um, material culture related to women's lives. So this clothing collection that's been lovingly formed and nurtured in the theater department is now coming to be understood as a really, really important uh, set of documents that'll allow us a, a vantage point on women's lives in the past and, and a vantage point that I think is um, accessible from many different disciplinary perspectives. They usually wore it buttoned up. In Professor Lane Hall Witt's class, The Democratization of Clothing in the United States, students examine a Smith College Relief Unit uniform from World War I. There's just a great deal to be learned about examining the garments themselves and the accessories themselves. It creates a kind of empathy and sympathy with historical characters that's really hard to attain in any other way. The historic clothing collection has its origins in the theater department. When the Mendenhall Center for the Performing Arts opened in 1968, Kiki Smith, class of 1971, started organizing the mountain of clothes that had accumulated after productions. All of those clothes were just sort of jumbled into one large stock room. Uh, when I came back to teach here, I moved all of the old clothes, the real clothes as I called them, into cabinets because, first of all, they wouldn't survive on stage, and secondly, they, many of them were quite beautiful pieces that somehow seemed to be different from the monk's robes from Romeo and Juliet. She's a member of the first class of Smith College. Students have been crucial to the collection's evolution. They have worked with Professor Smith to mend, catalog, and house the pieces, which include numerous donations from alumni. Among the estimated 3,000 garments and accessories, are pieces from the late 18th, 19th, and 20th centuries, with an extensive array of clothing from the 1920s. But one of the most unique aspects of Smith College's collection is the inclusion of items that reflect women's everyday lives over the years. One of the real strengths, I think, of the collection is its in investment in the quotidian, in the daily, so a house dress that was worn by someone f all the time, clearly, to do domestic chores. And to see patterns of wear on it is profoundly moving and telling. The use of material culture and scholarship has been on the rise, especially clothing and textiles. This was evident when Smith College's 2013 symposium, Narratives of Women's Dress, What Can a Garment Say?, drew twice the number of attendees expected. The symposium came about through um, a Khan Liberal Arts Institute short-term project that took place in the fall of 2011. Um, and we were surprised to find that there were faculty in all three divisions who were interested in this subject. People from the mathematics department, from the theater department, from English literature, really folks who spanned the whole range of the Smith curriculum. Um, and that made us realize that this was something that we could pursue in a bigger way. One of the things I learned during this symposium was just how much serious interest there is in something like this. I mean, we had, you know, 400 people sign up to attend and come through both of the days. And it really is incredible to have an interest in something almost your whole life and then find out that there are so many other people who are very seriously interested in the same thing that you are and that they've made careers out of it. They are a tangible resource for um, non-textual work, meaning we have libraries of books, which are very valuable, but we also have libraries of archives, of paintings and prints, of course, at the museum, of diaries and yearbooks, and letters at the archives, and these are kind of like letters and journals into women's lives in the past. And my sense is that's a very valuable commodity to save and to have for the future.